Hi, in today's video, I will show you how to apply pagination in Tableau. Pagination is a process of dividing a table content into discrete pages or limited number of records. For example, if you see here, I'm using Tableau's uh, Superstore uh, dataset. And if you want to see the order details, and if I list it, it will list all the details. And if the, if the number of records is huge in your data set, this will take time for Tableau to render in a view. So to uh, save time and this, uh, save time, we can use uh, pagination technique so that uh, we can display enough records. And if the user wants to search more, he can use the pagination. Pagination. For example, if you see here, I am using a pagination technique here. So if the user wants to drill down uh, or explore more records, he can just uh, select the next page number so that he can uh, see the data. So the first question might be, why do we need pagination? Sometimes a business requires, if you see here, I have created a sample dashboard here. And sometimes a uh, business requires to see the details of the aggregations and we can use this pagination technique so that we can limit the number of records. And uh, if they want to really explore, we can add a highlight button and we can uh, and they can uh, drill down uh, specific to those records. They can uh, have the limited number of records. So let's see how we can do this in Tableau. So for this demonstration, I will be using Tableau sample data store data. So let's connect to the data sample store. So the first thing we'll create a pa parameter. So this will be like to limit the page size. So I will use detail and uh, use a range. Let's say minimum to be 25 and maximum records I want to show per page is 500 and the uh, step size is 5. So once we have this page size, all we have to create is two uh, calculated functions. So first one I'll uh, create a index one. So this is basically it will index the number of uh, records. Index. I will start with zero. Then all we have to do is create another calculated field called page number. And here I will use my index calculation divided by my page size so that I want to limit the number of records since the index starts with zero. So I will wrap this in an integer. So if it is a zero, it runs to one and one since it starts from zero. So I want to show my page number from one. So I'm adding a plus one here. So that's it. This, uh, if I drag my data here, category manufacturing, Say we drag the order ID. So if you see, like it will almost add on 9,000 records. So with pagination, let me show my parameter, and I will drag. I will change uh, the page number discrete so that I want to show discrete numbers one, two, three. Then I will drag this to my filter, and. Maybe I will use our uh, sales. <laughs> I have not selected anything, select all. And I will add the sales. And maybe my profits ratio, for example. <laughs> and all we have to do is just show this filter and change the format to a slider and there we go so if you see here now it is limiting the number of records to only 25 since i have mentioned my page size to 25 it is showing me 25 records so if i increase it to 50 75 so it will show me 75 records if you see here so that's it. Uh, I can show you the final uh, shape, how it will be, since I have already formatted it. If you see here, I'm using my Superstore sales data, and I'm using this uh, 
uh, detailed uh, ways with a pagination. So if you want to uh, see the different page number, you can use these uh, arrows to see the used pagination. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope it is useful for you in your implementation. Thank you.